Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Aussie Flipper. My name is Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What well, that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Now, I'm really excited to get into today's episode because I've got my 10 very best items that sell for over $100 on both Facebook and eBay. So I do these videos every single Tuesday. They're kind of like my tips and tricks into reselling. Thursday, I'll do a bit of a vlog where I'll take you on a day in the life. And then on Sunday, I'll give you my best what sold items of that week. So if you're into reselling by any means, whether it be full-time, casual, part-time, thinking about it, go ahead and give the video a subscribe and also a like as well, because that really does help the YouTube channel out a lot. Um, so I've got 10 really cool items. Hopefully you can go and find these and make the same sort of profit. Let's kick it off with item number one. First category to kick off the episode, guys, is the bikes. Now, I really do think the bikes are going to be a great one for resellers, certainly here in Australia, at least, anyway, to get into over the next few months heading into the summertime. But uh, I also think that the coronavirus has played a big impact in this as well. Um, people are commuting to work differently. I think more people are going to be riding into work on the bikes. And I think gym memberships are still fairly low. Um, so people are going to look for other ways to exercise. And I think the bike sales are just going to go up and up. Um, I've just sold this one yesterday for $120. So they do sell for over 100 bucks. Uh, I think the Beach Cruiser, certainly where I am, is a really popular type of bike to get into. Uh, but you can look down the performance bikes as well. I know Giant, Trek, and Specialized are three really good bike brands on a more of a performance-based uh, side of things that you can look into. Um, but even just your stock standard Beach Cruiser is uh, a real popular one. And uh, I bought this one for just $20 in a garage sale, so people do undervalue them. Um, but they do sell for over 100 bucks on both Facebook and eBay. I think with the bikes, it's probably a good one to look at on Facebook Marketplace because obviously people just come and collect. Um, so first category that I thought I'd show you guys to get a, a bit of a feel for is the bikes. Now, you've probably got your old phone and your old laptop just lying around the house and you probably don't think it's worth too much money. But on number two, these items do sell for over $100 on eBay. I sold my 2010 MacBook Pro for $265 on an eBay auction. And then I sold my phone, my Samsung S8, really run its course, bad condition, um, still working okay for $150 on Facebook Marketplace. So to make $400 or over $400 for these two items, I really didn't think the value would be there, but they are a great item and a great category to get into. Now, I'm personally not a tech head, but if you are, if you go and source these items, you're gonna be making some money when you're reselling them on eBay. And if you aren't a tech head, then just simply the items that you have lying around the house that you used to use would be a great one to go ahead and put up on eBay. Just listen it as an auction, see what the price ends up at. Generally, for any old technology, you'll make over the $100. So two really cool ones to get into that a lot of people have readily access uh, to, and that is the phone and the laptop. The next item is out of the fitness category, and it's the standard bench press. The bench press is in such high demand as a piece of fitness equipment, obviously with the gym memberships not being taken up as much at the moment with the virus, but the bench presses are great because people are trying to use a home gym setup and they need this piece of equipment because it's one of the most popular. Um, now, people are selling these off really cheaply, old, rusty pieces that you can get and clean, take the rust off and paint up black, and they can look brand new. Now, they're selling on market at the moment between 4 to $5 per kilo. This is just for the weight plates that go on top of the actual straight bar on the bench. Um, so say, for instance, you've got a 10 kilo weight plate, that's 40 to $50 worth of value right there. So people are selling them as a complete setup, weight, straight bar, bench for about $50 to $100 on Marketplace. Grab those ones when you see them, but you've got to obviously get in there quick um, because you can then just set it up at home, take nice photos, and you can list it for around the $250 to $400 mark. Now, I've sold this one. It's worth, it ended up selling for $160. And the reason why it was a little bit less was because it was a beginner setup. So it basically could only hold up to 150 kilos. Um, so this one sold. I bought this one for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so it just goes to show you can find them at this price. Uh, but you've got to be very, very quick because they do move fast because they're worth a whole lot more and a lot of people know that. But then also, on the other hand, there's a lot of people out there willing to pay $250 to $400 to set up their home gym. Um, another good piece about it is that you can dismantle it upon pickup. So it's not a big bulky item in that regard. You could even get it into a small sedan type car uh, and then reset it up at home, give it a good clean, take great photos, and they do make quite a bit of money. Now, I bought this next one on Marketplace and sold it for $140 in really quick time. It was a Masterline Charger knee board. And for those of you who don't know what a knee board is, basically you just strap yourself in across the knees and the jet ski will tow you along and you basically can do some really cool you know, tricks on the water. So great over the next few months with the summertime coming. But uh, if you don't know much about this category, just do a bit of a research and, and learn some brand names. Masterline is a great brand to look at. Sort of that fiberglass adult size model sells really well. Retail can be anywhere between two to $400. 
This one that I bought was a slightly older model, a few years old, but still in really good condition. Obviously, like anything, make sure it's in great nick as you buy it. I paid a little bit more than I normally would for this one, but I knew it would sell for over 100 bucks, so I've made a few dollars on it. And um, if you can pick them up anywhere for around that $50 mark, you'll do well. Um, even if you're at garage sales, keep an eye out for these out the back and obviously look for them on Facebook Marketplace pretty regularly. But over the next few months in the summertime, I think this gun could be a great category that people probably don't know too much about, that you can do a bit of research on and find that you can make some pretty good money. The next item is these Resignol skis that I bought in an op shop for just 50 bucks. And I've gone ahead and sold them for $120 on Facebook Marketplace. So the skis and the ski boots are a really great one to get into. There's a couple of brands that you can pay attention to in these that sell well, and that is Resignol, great brand, probably the best. And um, you've also got Salomon, uh, you've got Head, you've got K2, Nordica is a really good brand as well. Uh, both the boots and the actual skis, um, great items to look for, whether it be summer or winter, it doesn't matter. Just buy them if you're getting them at the right price. Make sure there's no damage to the edges and there's no gouge or anything on the base as well because that's crucially important on the resale value. Uh, but making sure you're getting the great brand and the great model of that great brand is crucially important. So do your comp searching, but they do sell for over 100 bucks. I've made $120 there, $70 profit. Um, and I probably could have got a few more dollars because they were a really good set of skis. So pay attention to these no matter what time of year because they do resell for great money. Next item is a Pioneer car stereo system that I found in a tip shop, a uh, rubbish shop for uh, $10 I think I paid and I sold it for a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace. So even though this wasn't your updated Bluetooth type model, it, all it had was an aux cord that you could sort of play music through a cord. Um, it's still sold for $100. People are doing up cars and they need the old sort of stereo type systems to put into. Pioneer is a great brand. So always look for Pioneer from a, a resale value. That, that is sort of the premier brand of uh, audio systems. Uh, but this one would have slotted in the car for most sort of cars. Um, and it was $100 worth of value in great nick out of a tip shop, unboxed. Um, so it was basically a brand new item and it sold for really good money. So I think brand new, I think it was worth about $220 after I'd done some research. And then I was able to get through comp searching on eBay uh, worth that $100 resale value. And sure enough, within the space of a few days, this one has sold for hundred bucks. So you can sort of find the electronics anywhere. I guess it's a bit like your phone and your laptop, but hey, I found these electronics, um, this sort of you know stereo system out of a tip shop. So you really can't find it anywhere. And if you can get it in a low enough price, it is a hundred dollar sale item. The next item guys is my favorite item to find in an op shop. And if you've been regularly watching my videos, you'll already know what this is. And it is the ASICS Gel Keanu running shoes. The minute I see these, I know that I'm gonna get at least a hundred bucks in the uh, on eBay. I found these ones here for uh, $6 in an op shop and I sold it for a hundred bucks on eBay in very quick time. In my opinion, they're the best running shoes on the market, $260. Uh, new and obviously on a resale around that $100 mark pretty easily. Now I do a lot of shoes and I think shoes in general is a great category to get into and I think there's a lot of shoes out there that you can obviously make $100 on. Um, these ones I've just sold quite a few of. The Kayanos, as soon as I spy them, I know that if the soles are quite good on them and there's not too much wear and tear on the on the midsole and outer sole, that you'll make some good return. And um, look, six bucks, I've done it a few times now where I've spied them in the op shops and they've always sold for over $100. So also want to keep an eye out for Asics as a shoe brand is great, but the Kayanos, they're just top end. Now the next category, guys, is one that I have spoken about a little bit before on the channel, but it's one that I want to pay a bit more attention to and it's the Funko Pops. Now these are your toy bobble heads, um, collector's items, they're always boxed, um, really good one to get into because it's a bit of a lottery. Some of them can be upwards of one, two, three, four hundred dollars per toy. Um, you can buy them bulk as I do. I'll generally buy a bulk of 20 and, and make a good couple of hundred dollars on them um, by buying a few. But every so often you get one or two that can be worth you know over a hundred dollars. Now, this is the best one I've ever found. It's called Brook. Um, why it's so expensive, I don't know. But um, I sold it for $230 on eBay and it was out of a bulk lot that someone's selling on Facebook Marketplace for $10 each. So I did pay $10 on Facebook Marketplace for this and it has sold for $230. There's a website that you can go on to called poppriceguide.com and it's just a database search engine that gives you the true value of every single pop out there. All you have to do is search the name and the number of the one that you're looking into and it will give you an accurate price. Now, 
buy them on Facebook Marketplace, make sure they're in great nick because they are a collector's item. The box needs to be immaculate or you won't get your resale value. But if you want to learn anything more about the pops and you're curious, obviously send me a message or put it in the comments below. Um, happy to talk you through um, what to look for. But the pops are a great one. They, uh, they sell really well and you can be a bit, um, I guess, meticulous in which ones you actually buy off Marketplace where you know you'll get some good return. And my most common and most profitable $100 sale item, the furniture pieces. So I do a lot of furniture each and every week. It really just keeps me running as a reseller. Um, I do these all the time. I buy for about 50 bucks and I sell for 150 to 200 regularly. Um, the three pieces of furniture that I'll always try and sell are the bedside tables, the desks, and the chest of drawers. I look for dovetail edges in the joinery of the drawer um, when I'm buying bedside tables. Everything generally is in solid wood. Um, I just always try and buy solid wood. If I can find Tasmanian oak, you'll make a lot of money. Uh, red oak is good too. Um, really just even a pine, a, a solid pine wood is good as well. But um, you just don't want to get a veneer or a laminate type make. Um, you want it to be true solid wood, that's always worth a lot more. But seriously, they, you can buy for 50 regularly and you can sell for 150. It's a great return. So there it is guys, my 10 items that I have sold over the last few months for over $100 on Facebook and eBay. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Remember to give the video a like and a subscribe because it really does help the YouTube channel out a lot. Let me know what your most favorite item out of those 10 were and also let me know what your best $100 sale item is. I'd love to know it in the comments. Uh, look forward to catching you in the next episode guys. Really appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.